Nicole how are you I'm doing awesome so excited about this collaboration this is the summer Lovin' collaboration and thank you so much for joining us today and tomorrow um, we've got 12 of us artists which you saw in the um, trailer just before I'm starting here so those are all the artists that we have um, they will, like I said, be today and tomorrow. Super, super fun. So, the collaboration um, details, so let me just tell you what we had to do. So, our collaboration, we had to include a water element. We must add a little fish in our painting, so that'll be coming up a little bit later. <laughs> That's going to be my part two. Um, you must include two pouring techniques of your choice. You must have at least one metallic and you can use any canvas size. I have a 20 by 20 here. And yeah, so that's what that is. That's what our details are for this collaboration. Super exciting. So um, I want to thank everybody for joining me. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Throw me a comment below. And let me know what you think of the video today. Okay, so first off, I want to thank Rose from Rose M Creations for being in charge of this collaboration and keeping us all together and straight and just handling all the details. Um, I know she's a very busy lady, so I appreciate you, Rose. Thank you so much for being in charge of all of us yahoos. <laughs> um, you are very much appreciated, so thank you. Thank you again. Okay, so let's see. What should I start with? So I decided I'm going to create an underwater scene. So I'm going to have, I think you can see all this I got going on here. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. So let's start with, let me just start with colors. Okay. I'll start with colors. So the bottom here, I'm going to be putting a sand. So this sand color I made for a previous painting to that, I'm going to be adding just a little bit of gold. So I'm going to, um, uh, put these in a cup together, kind of, actually, I think what I'm going to do I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So just keep watching <laughs> and I'll show you. Um, I'm going to have some dark area here and for the darker colors, I'm going to be using um, Prussian blue by Grumbacher. Then I have a ice blue, which is a deco art dazzling metallics color. I'm going to add to this darker just to give it a little bit of green tint-ish to it, I guess you could say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is timeless teal. This color is beautiful. It's by Art Minds. And then to those colors, I'm going to add some iridescent silver by Pabio. And then I'm going to have like a lighter blues and greens up at top here. And this color, I can't tell you what it is. It's a combination of a bunch of colors. It was a uh, runoff paint. Um, so it was a bunch of extra paint I had from a previous pour. It's just a beautiful color and it's got so much like shimmery iridescent look to it. So I definitely know that I had some metallics and iridescent colors in there. So it's a, it's a pretty green blue. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use 
Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. I'm going to use Neon Blue by Artist Loft. And then I'm going to use Aqua, uh, Aqua Green by Artist Loft. And to that, I'm going to add some titanium white. I'm going to be doing flip cups for this technique. And yeah, so that is what we have for colors. We do have some colors over here. Um, I'll, I'll go over these a little bit later, okay? Okay, so I'm going to do a hidden heart word on the piece today. And just because it's fitting for this collaboration and for summer, it's fun. Summer fun. And you know what? No matter what you do this summer, have, have fun. Find fun. Create fun. Just enjoy yourself and have fun. Um, have a blast. Have a blast of a summer. Enjoy yourself kayaking, canoeing, camp, camping, like whatever you like to do. That's what summer is all about is, it seems to be kind of the theme of summer is fun. So let's get started on what we're gonna do here, okay? I'm gonna speed this part up, um, some pieces up for you a little bit just to, um, not keep you entirely bored during this entire process but I hope you enjoy watching and I'll check in with you at the end enjoy So although this looks beautiful, um, I love the cells, I love everything about it. It's too busy for the other elements I'm going to be adding to this painting. So that is why I am, um, my second technique here I'm using is swiping. Um, just to kind of clean up some of the busyness, the beautiful busyness. <laughs> So now the next element I'm adding to this piece is I want to add some tropical underwater plants. So that's what these colors are here for. Oh, I hope this turns out. I'm so nervous about this part. I'm so nervous about this part because <laughs> I don't even want to say it out loud. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Have faith, Nicole. It'll be great. It will be great. All right. So I'll just show you the colors I'm going to use. This is Prism Violet by Liquitex. Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebio. Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebio. This is a Neon Green by Artist Loft. 
whoops and then this is an iridescent orange orange what orange yellow by Pebio and then some neon yellow by Artist Loft so let me add some plans please cross your fingers for me we will see how it goes because I'm just getting used to using a palette um, <clears throat> I don't use it a lot so I sometimes feel like I get down too deep and I'm like taking off gobs of paint so um, soft and light hopefully my hand doesn't act up on me because I've been having some major hand issues um, so yeah I'm just gonna go for it are you ready are you ready to rumble okay sorry <laughs> all right I'm gonna um, let you go back to listening to some music and I'm going to make some underwater plants. Here we are for part two. This dried pretty decent. Um, I did at the end of part one, you saw me trying to add a plant here. Wasn't a good idea because um, the white kept sinking and I knew better, but um, I'm gonna fix that at the very end. I'm gonna go ahead and add a fish or two. For the most part, I think it dried well. This here, oh, I was so disappointed but after I turned the camera off I was cleaning off the edges and I know better um, but I cleaned off the edges and I brought the stick across the top of the canvas and bloop, right there so I'm like okay I'll just gently swipe it not a good idea that didn't work out so well either so um, I'll probably just put a fish there <laughs> that'll help hide it okay, so I found these stencils at Michael's. Um, so I thought, why not? Um, there's a fish here. You can see I, I practiced on one earlier, just on a, a practice canvas to see like how I, I could use it. So I'm gonna use this fish, and I think I'll use this guy here. There's some really cool mermaids and stuff, but I don't know that I'm gonna add that. Like I said, I don't. I don't draw so I'm afraid that if I add a mermaid I might not be able to properly fill her in correctly where she doesn't look crazy <laughs> so that's what I am going to do so there's some grass here maybe I'll add a little bit more grass I don't know we'll see but I'm gonna do this last so I don't flub it up or anything so, I'm not drawing my fish. It wasn't required to draw a fish. We had to add one, at least one fish. So, 
stencils for Nicole it is. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so I'm gonna speed things up a little bit and I will check with you at the end of the video when I'm all done. Enjoy. Okay, so now that everything's dry, I'm adding another coat um, to the fishies and actually added some iridescent medium to each of the colors to give them a little shimmer and sparkle. Um, and then I'm adding some bubbles and just giving everything uh, a decent little second coat so the colors uh, pop out more. here it is what do you think I think it's cute oh, I think it's cute this was so much fun and so I tell you um, fun was the best hidden heart word for this painting um, it was the, the whole process was a blast and I enjoyed it all so please go and check out Amy from Amy's creative acrylics next she's after me all the other participants will be in my description box below. Please go watch everybody and enjoy the premieres. All right, guys, till next time. Thanks. Bye.